Outrageous Art Lessons with Chris W. That's me. I wanted to say first off, Happy New Year. I hope everyone had a wonderful celebration and they're ready to get started with the new year of full of fun and awesome art projects. Today, I have an amazing art project for you. Our first art project of the new year I love so much. And here it is right here. It is how to make your own amazing, fantastic art robot. So you might be wondering, why would I want to make an art robot? What does that have to do with art? Well, we're actually going to be using form. And that's one of the elements of art. A form is a three-dimensional shape. So even though this is kind of like a sculpture of a robot, we're going to use energy to make it really work. So art, if you're tired of drawing all the time, I know I get tired sometimes, have your very own art ro robot to do the drawing for you. Now, I will give you a warning. His artwork is very abstract. And this is Artie, my art robot. Today, I'm gonna be building a robot to give to someone else. And it's gonna be a pirate robot. So let me find Artie's beautiful, magical creation in my handy dandy sketchbook. If you don't already have a sketchbook or an art journal, I highly recommend that you start keeping one. Is it? <gasps> Here it is. Isn't that fantastic? Artie's masterpiece. So, here is what you need to make your own fantastic art robot. It's actually easier than you might be thinking. First, what we need for the body is a plastic cup. Now, this is a Dunkin' Donuts cup. I love to recycle. I think that it's really important to recycle, so I just washed this one out and I'm gonna use this plastic cup. You also need tape. I'm using this really fancy, nice looking duct tape, but any tape will work, masking tape. You need, for the legs, markers. Three or four work best. And then, of course, to really make your robot Ooh. need a motor, a three volt motor. I ordered this one online at kelvin.com. We need a battery pack with the connecting wires and two AA batteries. All right, so once you have all of your materials, you can start putting them together. I start with the legs first. The markers you can tape onto your cup to make the little legs so they can draw and scribble. Um, I used a googly eye and I taped it on. Mine is going to be for my assistant principal, so I'm going to make a pirate um, design for mine. This is going to be the pirate patch. One eye is going to have a pirate patch on it. It's pretty cool. Arr. They love arr. They love So I'm going to make my pirate patch here. And once you've finished all of your decorations and making your robot have some artistic personality. So we got some eyes, a mouth, pipe cleaners for the arms. Let me see, I'm gonna make this mouth a little bit more defined here. There we go, there's the mouth. And I'm also probably gonna add hair to it, but not right now. All right, so once you have your legs and your body all put together, then you're ready to test your motor. So, since this is actually going to be chemical energy, electrical energy, it's it's like a science experiment. I like to call it STEAM for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Um, whenever you're doing a science experiment, it's important that you are being careful and safe at all times. This is very important. I won't tell you why, but it can be dangerous. Just be careful. All right. Now, the, the most important part is not crossing these wires. When your battery's in, you don't want to cross those wires. But, when you put the batteries in, you can connect the wires to the two small pieces. Red connects to one end of the battery pack. Black connects to the other, and you can test it. And you should be able to hear the motor spinning. Now, right now, it's spinning kind of quietly and smooth. We need to tape something onto that motor piece that will make it actually spin or move. So we need to counter the weight with something. So I'm gonna make a little flag. First I'm gonna disconnect the wires and I'm gonna make something to tape here at the top. So I'm just gonna take a little piece of duct tape 
and I'm going to tape it to that motor piece at the end. And then I want to tape something on it that will make it a little bit heavier. Maybe another piece of duct tape or a pipe cleaner. Or really anything that will make it heavier. I mean, we want... Don't, don't forget that it will spin, so you don't want it like flying around and hitting you in the face. Oh, no, 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 no. That would not be good. I'll make a little flag. Maybe that will work. Oh, butterfly. Butterfly. Alright. So now, once you have your battery ready, I'm just going to tape the battery onto the back of my robot. So I'm going to use some more of that handy dandy duct tape. Extra sticky, super sticky stuff. And I'm going to stick it right here on the back, tape it right back there, press on it, make sure it doesn't fall off, sometimes that's a problem. Duct tape you can heat up with your hands, uh oh, now it's going to fall over, I need to balance it a little bit, maybe on this side. Alright, so I just taped it on the other side, so it's more balanced. Okay, so now once you have your battery pack taped onto the side of your robot, the motor is going to be taped somewhere to the top. But don't forget, you have to be able to let it move. So I'm going to tape it right over here on the top. So I'm going to take a piece of duct tape. I'm going to tape it right here. I need a longer piece than that, I think. Let me get another piece. Tear it, make it thinner. All right, so let's tape this little battery pack right here. That's the motor, actually. Now I can connect the wires and see if it really spins. So cross your fingers, drum roll. Let me move the scissors so it's not safe. All right, let's see. There we go, it's working. Whoa. Uh oh, it's coming loose. All right, so that means I need to move it over just a little bit. Make sure it's securely taped on here. All right, let me try that again. Connect the black wire. Oh, whoa, scared. Some of these robots are crazy, don't they? You know what, I'm gonna disconnect the battery while I'm working on the wire, just to be safe. Okay, so let me get that red wire securely on there. Make sure it's securely on there. Alright, now let's put the battery in. Here go. That's amazing! Wow. Oh, oh, don't fall over. Heavens to Betsy. And the wire came undone. So it takes some time to test around. But you can see, you're going to get the gist. So that is how to make your awesome, majorly cool, scribbling robot using just some simple things you have around the house. Remember to be careful with the wires, be careful with the battery pack. This is energy, electricity. Um, but if you're safe, you can make an amazing robot and maybe even have a robot battle. What do you say? Should we have a robot battle? Let me take the battery out. Let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Presenting Artie in one corner, the artistic robot who loves to scribble and draw. And in the other corner, we have, hmm, what's your name? Let me hear. What's your name? I don't know what this robot's name is. What do you think? If you have some good ideas for the names, you let me know, and we'll name them. Let's get that on there. All right, let's see if that'll work. Let's connect the battery. All right, opponents, are you ready? The rules are no major, no hits above the head. All right, are you ready? Round one, let's go. Start.
making these awesome art robots. And uh, good luck. I can't wait to see your own creations. Say bye, Artie.